Watch out for the Android phone avalanche. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. The iPhone 5 may be a popular device, but there are so many more smartphones to be unveiled in the next few weeks. AT&T held an event in New York the other night to showcase dozens of new products that will be sold during the holiday season. There's the HTC One X Plus, which has a quad-core processor, and that high-end hardware is also something we're seeing in the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and the LG Optimus G, which were also showcased. I spent some time with Sony's Xperia TL, the phone that'll make its big screen debut in the James Bond film Skyfall. So I didn't detect any secret compartment for poison darts or a switchblade, but secret agents might get use of the 13 megapixel camera and NFC capabilities. Sony will be pushing NFC accessories with this, such as wireless headphones that when tapped automatically tell the phone to turn on Bluetooth and start playing music. NFC accessories are also a big settler with Nokia's Lumia 920. That's Microsoft's flagship Windows Phone 8. This season, it's all about keeping you hooked on a company's ecosystem of accessories. It's a bit disappointing that everyone was top secret about prices and launch dates, but there will be lots of choices this holiday, even devices you didn't know you wanted, like this Galaxy camera that's half smartphone, half awesome camera, and you can get it with an AT&T data plan. At the end of the month, on October 29th, Microsoft will officially launch the Windows Phone 8 operating system. Phones that work with Windows Phone 8 can support NFC, multi-core processors, expandable memory slots, mobile wallets, and it'll obviously have heavy integration with Windows 8 computers and tablets, which go on sale Friday, October 26th. On Monday, we're keeping our eye on some new Angry Birds mashup with Star Wars. The Angry Birds Tumblr blog just has this mysterious teaser animation. I find their lack of information disturbing. And speaking of Tumblr, you may feel withdrawal from some animated GIFs on Saturday when the site will be down for maintenance and updates. It's been one year since Apple founder Steve Jobs passed away. Be sure to check out CNET's coverage that looks at the company's record financial success in the past year, as well as its challenges going forward. I have here a pretty cool gadget going through tests in the CNET labs right now. It's the first streaming media projector by 3M and Roku. It combines this Pico projector that just fits in your hand with content that you can get on Roku's streaming stick. So as long as you have a Wi-Fi signal, you can take this and project videos on any flat surface. Pretty cool for travel. It'll be sold on Amazon for $300 and ships October 22nd, but be sure to check back on CNET for the full review. That's your tech news update for today, but we have more details on all these stories at the blog. CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.